everyone, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo, and today we're taking a look at the GB Pocket. Now this is the smallest folding stroller in the world. That's right, it's a Guinness World Record holder. Look at how cute this is. It is a great travel stroller, super light, weighs just over nine pounds, but it accommodates six months all the way up to 55 pounds. This stroller is so small that you can put it underneath the seat on an airplane. You can put it in the above compartment on an airplane. I can fit this in my large diaper bag. It's that small. And to give you a good idea, this is the box that it comes in. That's right, for a stroller, that is tiny. So we're gonna go ahead and show you everything about the GB Pocket. It does have an automatic lock. You pop this wheel out, you pop this wheel out, and this is the GB Pocket. So let's go through all of the specs and show you what it's all about. Now the GB Pocket does have a roomy seat. I could fit my six year old in the seat and his head doesn't even touch the canopy. It is 12 inches wide with a 24 inch seat back. And what I love is that they put this piece up here and this creates kind of like a headrest for your taller children. So it gives them a comfy ride. The measurement from the top of the canopy to the back of the seat is also 24 inches. Now you could raise your canopy like that, but for the most part, we're gonna give it a 24 inch um, measurement. Now it has a padded five point harness that is easy to do. All you have to do is snap in your pieces like that. And then when you push the button, it pops right open. Now there is no adjustable leg or calf rest. Your, your taller children will set their feet down here. And there is no recline on the seat. Again, this is a travel stroller and that's why they have it for six months and up. There is no recline, but I can tell you that this seat fabric is removable and washable, and it just has little buttons over here that you take the fabric off, so it's very easy to remove the fabric. Now under the seat, there is a small basket. Now it is very small, but this is a travel stroller. You could fit some loose baby essentials, and the best way to get to it is from the back. We can fit our Jujube Mini B down here. If you squish it a bit, you can get the Mini B down there. So that'll give you a good idea of how big the basket is. It's not huge, but for a bag like this, you could probably get it in there with no problem like I just did. Now the stroller rolls on four and a half inch wheels. These are little wheels. These are best on smooth surfaces. Definitely a smooth surface stroller. Now you can lock the front wheels straight or you can let them swivel 360 degrees. If you are taking it on gravel, grass, or playground mulch, I highly recommend that you lock these front wheels because it's gonna help you in your maneuverability because like I said, very small wheels so they might get caught up in a lot of bumps. Um, the back here, you have a one-step brake that you step down and it's gonna lock the stroller into place and you lift it up and that lets it go free. Okay, let's talk about the canopy. Now, it's a very small canopy on the pocket. That's because it needs that really compact fold. So it is a small canopy. It does go over the child and it folds back when you are folding the stroller, but that is the canopy. Now the handlebars, they're adjustable to two positions, but the first position really is the folding position. You're probably not gonna push it like that. And that's all the way down here. That is about 28 inches from ground to where you place your hands, but you'd have to be very short, obviously, to use it that way. But if you put it into the regular position, right here at the corner, this is 37 inches from ground to handle, and if you put it on the top, that's about 39. So they're not the tallest handle. So if you are super tall, you might want to try the pocket out first, but definitely they are fixed handles. It's not going to go any taller than that, and they are foam covered. Okay, let's quickly talk about maneuverability and stability because I know you were wondering, how stable can a nine pound stroller be? Well, let me tell you, I was surprised. I didn't expect it to be as sturdy as it is. Now, it's not a travel system. It's not gonna accommodate an infant car seat. It's not that stable. But I can easily put a 48 pound child in there with no problem. I could put a smaller baby in there. It is pretty sturdy, you know, in the world of really lightweight strollers. Now, if I do this, of course, it's gonna move around, but it is more stable than I thought it would be. Plus, maneuverability, now these are small wheels, so the maneuverability is good with a small baby aboard. Now if I put a larger child near the weight capacity, I'm definitely gonna have to give it a little ump and maneuver it with two hands. Since the um, handlebars are separate, I'm gonna normally maneuver it with two hands regardless, just because of how it is designed. 
definitely a two-handed push stroller, and that is due to the handlebars and the fact that the wheels are very small. Um, but the maneuverability is good. I have no problem moving it around, um, even with a bigger kit aboard. You know, you're just going to have to use two hands. So let's talk about the fold because this is the best part of the pocket is how compact and easy it is to fold. Now the fold is, I would say the fold is actually easier than the unfold. The unfold you really have to get used to, but the fold is super easy. All you have to do is, there's two ways to fold it. You can do the most compact way, and we'll do that first, in which you take these wheels, there's a white lever, you push it down, and you fold them in until they clip like that. And as you can see, at nine pounds, I can whip this stroller around one-handed, no big deal, it's not heavy. So if you put those in, that's gonna be the most compact fold. You go ahead like this, these two white levers right here, you push them in, and you're gonna push the whole stroller down. And then it goes down like that, and then you're gonna fold it in, like that to get your most compact fold. There is a, a manual lock right here on the back that you're gonna secure like that. And there is your folded package. This is tiny, guys. Now, what I would love to see them add is I would love to see them add some backpack straps or something so that I can put it on my back because at nine pounds, that would be super easy or some type of a carry strap. There is no carry strap, but it's so small that you can put it inside a large diaper bag to you know, solve all of that. Now the stroller is so small that I have fit it inside my GGB Be Prepared. That's right, the stroller is in this bag like that. That is gonna surprise some people when you pull your stroller right out of your diaper bag. So if you have a large diaper bag, you are gonna be able to put it in there. Now let's go ahead and unfold this and show you how it works. Now, unfolding the stroller isn't quite as easy as folding the stroller. It does take a little practice to do it as smoothly as you've seen the videos, but don't get frustrated because I didn't do it right the first time either. Um, all you have to do is unlock that manual lock here. The buttons on the handlebars, that's what you're going to push. It opens like that. You're going to have to, because I had it in the most compact fold, pull out your back wheels. Make sure it's all locked into place, and there you go. So like I said, it's not gonna be that smooth every time you open it. You might have to pull it open. Um, but like I said, the folding, that is the second most compact. As you can see, the lower wheels are open like that. So let me just show you again. It's just kind of a, you know, you have to practice at it. Push the buttons, just like that. My wheels were already out, so I am ready to go. Now, it is a two-handed fold and unfold. This isn't something you're gonna do with one hand, but it's rather easy to do if you just practice a few times before you go on your trip, you will have it down in no time. Just like that. So that's the GB Pocket, guys. It is a great travel stroller. It is not a travel system. This is not gonna take an infant car seat. It's for six months up to 55 um, pounds. And like I said, our six-year-old was even comfortable in the seat. Now it doesn't have a recline, so if you're looking for a travel stroller that your child can take a nap in, this probably isn't it. But if you are you know, short on space with your travels, this is a great option. Plus it's so lightweight at nine pounds. So that's it. That is my look at the GB Pocket. Um, what do you think about it? Leave me a comment and let me know, and I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Baby Gizmo videos. Bye!